Hi, everybody. My name is Daniel Lu. I'm a product line manager at IP Infusion. I am here today to talk about IPI Opnos OLT, which is a disaggregated passive optical networking product. I will explain how Opnos OLT solves the networking challenges for all networks. So what challenges we want to solve? First of all, it is uh, about exponential increase in bandwidth demand, which require a good networking scaling strategy to, for a poor network. So how poor network can be scaled up today in a traditional way, customer would try to buy Chase's type OLT that you can see in the, as an illustration on the upper right corner, this one. Uh, Customer can buy one or two switch card, plug it in, or, and one or few OLT light card at the beginning. And when the demand increases, they buy more OLT light card to scale up the network. But the limitation come with uh, this, is that the light card have to come from the same vendor. And most of the time, they, can, they cannot be a new phone technology. For example, you can buy, if you buy a cheap pawn Jesus OLT, you cannot put an IGS pawn like card in it. So we approach this network scaling in a different way. We have the customer buy separated OLT like card in the form of Brahma or pizza boxes. Customer buy the OLT like card can put them in one or more racks and connect them to the aggregation switches. From that, traffic go to the Leap Spy Data Center network and go to BNG. Our Opnos software solution power not only the OLT, but can put uh, can run on the aggregation switches, Leap Spy switches, and in the near future on the BNGs. The beauty is that hardware can be disaggregated open hardware. So go back to the network architecture we use. Uh, this is called uh, disaggregated distributed JSIS OLT. We move the layer three and MPOS functionality from the OLT to the aggregation switch. This way we can make the pawn configuration really, really simple for the customers. Customer can buy new OLT light card from their vendor of choice, put them in the rack, install our software, connect to the aggregation switch, and there we go. We can decide to upgrade a new pawn technology uh, to the new pawn technology, uh, for example, from G pawn to XGS pawn, from XGS pawn to NG pawn 2, or later 25G pawn anytime, while keeping all the existing devices they have. They can also decide to put in any, any pawn OLT or combo pawn OLT. This is the way we can keep high flexibility for customer to scale up their network. What is the next important networking challenge? Uh, that is the network automation and orchestration. How do we support them? We virtualize our OLT control plan. Customer can run it as a VM in their data center. And we put standard node bound in interface to the device. Uh, that is the way we have customer to accelerate network orchestration. We will come back to this uh, in a later slide. So this is the high level architecture of the IPI uh, Opnos OLT. Since this is a disaggregated product, it has a hardware abstraction layer, this one, uh, on the right corner, uh, which use different vendor SDK to program the underneath hardware. This hardware, abstraction layer, abstract the hardware and present them to other component in a common API interface, the whole interface, this one. In the middle, you can see the pawn management part, which have the high performance OMCI stack, we can handle a high number of O and U simultaneously, this one. Um, the pawn manager, this one, take care of overall pawn management. And as, as I mentioned in the previous slide, we make the pawn configuration similar by move out the layer three MPOS functionality to the aggregation switch 
Here in the pond manager, we further simplify the pond management by introducing the concept of subscriber service flow. When a new subscriber come and need a new service, a subscriber service flow need to be configured. The flow uh, come with its own QoS parameter and VLAN structure and can be, can be set up quickly in a few commands. With the subscriber service flow, we hide the complexity of the phone detail and make it really, really simple for the user to do configuration. On the NotBow interface, we provide CLI, SNMP, NetConf, and OpenFlow. With those, OpenOS OLT can be integrated into any existing network management system. In the next slide, we show how it can be integrated in a management system using open source component, including an orchestrator. This slide shows how OpenOS OLT and OpenOS aggregation switch can be integrated into uh, ONF SIBA name, which stands for Network Edge Mediator. Essentially, with SIBA name, upper layer orchestrators as owner can create and activate network services using Tosca and REST interface. Each network service instance can be driven by a service engine in the name layer, which pushes the configuration to the SDN controller. Uh, the SDN controller will control the OpenOS OLT through open, uh, open flow and NetConf interface. This uh, and it's control the uh, OpenOS aggregation switch through the NetConf interface. This one. On the opposite direction, even come from the OLT or the aggregation switch can be delivered to the name layer and drive the execution of the service instance in the service engine. With this, we demonstrate that IPI OpenOS OLT can fit well in an orchestration system using standard interfaces combining with a SDN controller. In the previous slides, we promote the UOP pizza box like on OLT because it gives high flexibility. We also support the micro block OLT. We can help customer to quickly extend their existing internet switches with own capabilities. As you can see in the picture, this is the micro block OLT, this one, from Tibet and in, uh, it in SFP plus form factor, it can be plugged into a SFP plus port of any switch. Uh, OpenOS OLT can run as a VM inside the switch or in an x86 server in a data center. On the upper right corner, you can see an outdoor switch that can that one of our customers use with a micro plug OLT to provide one connectivity to their subscriber. Another use case for the microplug OLT is the cell side router in the 4G, 5G network. There are a lot of them currently de deployed, and the microplug OLT can bring pawn capability to the subscribers from these cell side routers. Besides outdoor switches, microplug OLT can also extend the capability of indoor switches as well to provide low-cost bond connectivity for government office building or hospitals. One micro OLT can provide connectivity up to 128 ONUs with a distance of five kilometers. In the near future, we will continue to expand the supported list of OLT and ONU platform from different vendor. We will add PTP and Singy support, so customer can use our solution for X Hall networks. Pond fit very well there due to the low power consumption, leading to low OPEX. We will add support for broadband forum standard TR module, the TR383 and TR385. Uh, we plan to move quickly to NGPON2 and 25GPON when Ybox hardware supporting 
this bone technology are available. We also plan to create um, open BNG based on OpenOS, which can run on Ybox, which is or x86, which together with OpenOS OLT aggregation and lips by OpenOS, which is we can provide end-to-end -end fixed access solution to the customer. So I come to the end of the presentation, which introduced our disaggregated bond solution. Our solution supports efficient network scaling and accelerate network automation orchestration. 